another curriculum burst. Here's an interesting question from the grade 10 exam. It goes as follows. In the United States, coins have the following thicknesses. Penny, 1.55 millimeters. Nickel, 1.95 millimeters. Dime, 1.35 millimeters. And quarter, 1.75 millimeters. I actually wonder, is that true? Hmm, curious. Anyhow, the question is, if a stack of these coins is exactly 14 millimeters high, how many coins are in the stack? We have some choices, either seven in the stack, eight in the stack, nine in the stack, 10 in the stack, or 11 in the stack. All right, this is presented as a multiple choice question and it immediately brings to my mind strategy number six, which is eliminate incorrect choices. All right, so we read the question. Well, these coins are various thicknesses, 1.55, 1.35, and so on. And apparently a stack of them makes a pile exactly 14 millimeters high. This question makes me a little nervous because I don't know how many of each coin are in that stack. So what I might do, just to get a feel for the problem, is just do something. Let me just make up some particular stack. Maybe it has a, I don't know, has a penny at 1.55, maybe it has another penny at 1.55, maybe it has a quarter at 1.75, and maybe, I don't know, a nickel at 1.95, and another nickel at 1.95, and another nickel at 1.95, and let's do another coin, let's do the dime at 1.35. And apparently, if I've got it right, but I'm sure I haven't just made it up, that equals 1400 on the nose. Well, have I got it right? I'm sure it's wrong. Let's add it up. Now, I don't really want to add it up because I want to avoid hard work, but if I were to add it up, look at the uh, second decimal place, the hundredths place. Five plus five plus five plus five plus five plus five plus five. Ooh, in my particular example, I have to have an odd number of fives, which I know I have to end in a five with some carrying out thereafter. So actually, an odd number of fives can't be right to end up with 1.400 on the nose. That's an interesting observation. In fact, if I chose any odd number of coins there, it can't be right because they'll end with zero. It'd be something, point something five. I can just rule out three of these possible answers. I can't have an odd number of coins in the stack. That's it. I've now brought the problem down to two choices, eight coins or 10 coins. Now we've got started. I'm going to leave it up to you. Can you now eliminate one of these two choices to see which is the correct answer to the problem? And if you think you've got the answer, check the essay. Lots of fun. Thanks. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.